Hey everyone. First off, I don't know when this video will be uploaded. Either be uploaded now or will be uploaded when I uh, do eventually sell this. But uh, this is a Craftsman LTX 1000 modified. It's been modified with a dump bed. The dump bed is sitting right there. I reattach it. The guy was uh, worried about driving with the dump bed in place. But uh, we'll go around the other side and I'll show you some more of it. Okay, here it is from the other side. But uh, like I said, it's an LTX 1000. It does have the uh, Kohler engine. I mean, gentle with the hood. It's got the 18 horsepower Kohler single cylinder engine. Same engine as uh, this machine right here. You may be thinking, okay, what's my plans? This also came with a near perfect hood, original. I'm gonna have to use the bracket off my other one to make it work and the headlights from my other one to make it work. And it came with a near mint rear fender. There is a couple spots of surface rust on the underside, but that's it. This, these parts are definitely getting very hard to find. And I saw this machine, I figured I'd take a quick look at it on Kijiji. I saw that he had the near mint fender with the decals that are for the most part intact and are actually uh, legible. Um, little that's really the worst of it on the top and once it's in place you're not going to see it up here that's the surface rust but once the mats are in place you're not going to see it um but yeah i bought this machine i paid his asking price i paid 400 dollars for this machine because i wanted these parts because um as you know the original parts on this machine here are definitely pretty bad so the hood has a crack on it I'll use the epoxy on the hood, patch the hood up from the back side, and I'll put my bracket on there, it'll be ready to go. And I'll change out this rear fender, it'll be ready to go. This machine runs and drives, it's a six speed manual. Uh, the carburetor on here might be a little bit better than the carburetor on the other machine, so I might swap the carburetors and uh, go from there, see what I can figure out or I'll end up ordering two of them, but they are expensive. So if I can only order, if only need to order one, that would be much, much nicer. Um, he's modified and he's relocated the battery to right here. So it's like, it's even, got, even has a good battery in it, which is nice. He used all the original mounts right here. So he mounted this all down straight to the frame. If you know these machines, it has a bar that comes up and over that uh, the seat mounts to. So he removed that. Lowered everything down a little bit lower, but to ride it, it's actually not that bad. So the intentions are of this, I'm gonna re-add the fenders. I got a fender, either the gold one here, I'm gonna cut it up, it's junk anyways. Re-add the gold one in on each side, just to cover up the gaps and paint it black, and it'll be good to go. I don't really wanna to touch any of the stuff he did on the back here. I might end up having to unbolt it, just until I get the fender in place. Uh, and figure out where I need to cut the fender, but that's pretty well it, and put it back together. There's a few spots that need touch-up paint, and I might paint the inside of the hood black as well. He just painted the outside, so I might do the inside, we'll see. He even has, um, or had, under hood lights, just uh, to make it look cool at night. So I might put some red bulbs in there that would actually make this look pretty cool at night. So it's kind of a rat rod, Rat rod tractor, really, that's kind of what it is. Uh, utility tractor. So it does smell like it has some pretty rotten fuel in it. It looks pretty clean, but that could be causing some of its running issues as well. But it does run and drive and start on its own, which is good. So here it is. Uh, like I said, I don't know when this video will be uploaded. I might upload it immediately, might wait to upload it. But uh, I guess this would be a rat rod. Craftsman dump truck build. Um, this one won't be done immediately. So I gotta get these other two Craftsmen done first, but it will be done within working on the other ones. So like I said, I might be stealing some parts off this machine for the other one, but then I'll get parts put back onto this machine and uh, get her back up and running perfectly good. So I'll talk to them later. Please get right on the like always and uh, please subscribe and comment.